killing of a Brooklyn woman on a street Wednesday night. As captured in surveillance footage recently released by authorities, the suspect seen wearing, a black, wearing black leggings, a black top, and a silver belt carrying a white purse, exits a white sedan and casually shoots the victim. I want to say it's pronounced Delilah Johnson, who's 42 years, who was 42 years old, and she was standing up chatting with a group of people outside a building in the Crown House Heights area of Brooklyn. Police found Johnson unresponsive at the scene with wounds to the head and legs. She was taken to a hospital, a nearby hospital, and pronounced dead shortly after. Mathis Johnson, the victim's brother, spoke about his sister and her alleged killer Shouts during out to a KK candlelight vigil for this that was video. held on this past Friday night. He stated that she wasn't perfect, but her heart was perfect. The woman was heartless. She took a sister a do and a daughter away. She took a mother. Delilah Johnson had earlier that day attended a funeral for a neighborhood friend. The suspect was also there, but the suspect, wow. So the suspect was also there, but others in attendance said that the two did not appear to interact at all. So this woman had to clearly be keeping tabs on this woman's every move. So this was definitely premeditated. Uh, she, yeah, she definitely th thought this through and she definitely kept up with this woman's whereabouts. And she knew she obviously she knew that she was hanging out at these at the Crown Heights apartments because she pulled up right exactly where that woman was, bold in a crowded area, and shot this woman at point blank range in the head. And and that wasn't enough. She even went on to sh continue shooting the woman after she shot her in the head and to shoot her in her legs. Family members described Delilah Johnson as an entrepreneur. She also leaves behind a 17 year old daughter. The suspect is described as a dark-skinned adult female, approximately in her mid-twenties, heavy build, long blonde hair, and was last seen wearing, excuse me, black long sleeve shirt, a black tight silver belt around her waist with a black, black and white sneakers, a white purse, and seen firing a firearm and then fleeing in a white colored vehicle after the incident. As of Saturday morning, no arrests have been made and the investigation remains ongoing. The public is urged to submit any tips about the crime to NYPD's Crime Stoppers hotline, and I have that information in the description. But I watched the video, and that is crazy. I mean, she literally just got out of her car like it was just an everyday, you know, casual day. Just, okay, I'm just getting out, going on about my business. You would think she was going get out of her car to maybe chat with some of the other people that was standing out. But she just walked out and went straight up to this woman and killed her and got right on back in her car like it was nothing. That is cold-blooded. And then for her to be at the funeral earlier that day, this, the um, suspect was at the funeral with the victim. And they said they didn't interact. So eventually she's going to be arrested. People obviously know, they know who she is because there already have been witnesses who have seen her prior to. So they're definitely going to find out where she is she won't be in hiding very long and that is crazy um new york has been among the major american cities to see a significant uptick in violence that is gun related crimes in the past recent in the most recent months late last month 10 people were injured near a laundromat in queens after two gunmen opened fire and fled the scene on mopeds police believe that incident to be gang related as three of the victims were known members of one of the gangs um so yeah that's why a lot of people are moving out of new york you got a lot of people yeah that do move in but you also got a you got way more people moving out than moving in and that's how a lot of them end up in the south and in the the slower areas like georgia and florida you know because they feel like the, you know things would be a little bit more calmer even though there's crime all over but it's not as intense. And anytime you're living in those inner, those tri-states, those inner city areas, those metropolitan areas, even in Atlanta, you live in the city. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful during the day, but it's, it's very the crime rate is extremely high in those type of areas um, because you just got a one big melting pot of so many different walks of life. You got people who do reside there, born and raised. 
but then you also have your tourists and your visitors and people there for work and people there for business or trying to get make a name for themselves. You just got all these different people that like to come to those areas, Atlanta, New York, um, Hollywood. Those are like, those places are just heavily populated and it's so much crime in those areas. But that is very unfortunate what happened to this woman. Her name hasn't been released, but the suspect's name, no, the suspect's name hasn't been released, if I'm not mistaken. The victim name has, which is Delilah. Yeah, Delilah Johnson, but the su the um, suspect's name hasn't been released. But it's definitely going to come out who she is. And, yeah, everything is definitely going to come out in a matter of time. Now, this story took place on last Wednesday, and they still haven't made an arrest. Today is now Monday, so there still hasn't been an arrest that has come about, but it's definitely going to take place. She, yeah, she, she's not going to be able to stay in hiding forever. And not only that, you, she, there's going to be more and more people that's going to come forward and um, call her out and expose where she's located. But that was definitely heartless. Like I said, I watched the video, and it was just sad. It was heartbreaking. Watching something like that and to continue on about your day, you need a moment. And, like, this is real-life situations. This is not social media. This is not a video game. This is not something that you saw in a movie. Like, these are real-life situations. Like, someone's loved one is no longer here. And it's just so unfortunate when you when I um, read stories like this and hear about cases like this because it's like you just, you just don't know. And that's why it's very important that you stay prayed up and, you know, keep God first. I don't care if you're, you don't want to talk about religion and politics. You don't have to be religious to believe in Christ, okay? But stay prayed up and tend to your business, <laughs> you know. Don't get yourself caught up in a lot of these little petty arguments with people. And just, it's just crazy, man, the things that are going on. It's crazy. But my prayers are definitely going out to the Johnson family. Okay, I do want to go home, go ahead and add that this woman was considered a family friend. So, wow. So, this was very close to home. Now, I kind of suspect that it, it did have to be close to home because if this was someone who was at a funeral just earlier with the victim, they had there maybe have been some type of, you know, mutual um, relationship. Uh, but Ken of the Brooklyn woman says the victim was lured to her death with a phone call and that the, the person who took her life was a family friend. They recognized her from the footage. And that's why I said she's not going to be on the run very long. They're going to catch her. They stated that um, people have stated that she was on the block with them. She got a phone call. And when she got the phone call, she said, I'll be right back. This is coming from her friend, Sean Johnson. And this is what he recalled on Friday, referring to Delilah Johnson. 20 minutes later, somebody called him and he told him, they told him that she got shot and he was in disbelief. He couldn't believe it. And the police, of course, had released two zoomed in photos of the suspected person on Friday. And family members said they recognized her from the snapshot showing the woman's face. Police are, oh, wow. And this is Delilah's mother. She said, I know her. She said, she used to stay with us. She slept in my bed and ate my food. That is crazy. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I hope it ain't got to do no man. Whatever the case may be, she didn't deserve to die. But that's just the first thing come to my mind. Like, is this, com is this somehow associated with some relationship type thing? One of the victim's younger sisters, Hadija, called the suspect a family friend who came to our family events, celebrations, holidays, whatever you want to call it. Wow. The motive, of course, is still unclear, but another sister stated by the name of Khadija, she said, I know in my heart that somebody called her and knew what it That's was the mama and set and my sister sisters. up. Nobody can tell me otherwise. Del Delia, I think it's Del Delia, was talking on the phone and on a crowded Prospect Heights Tuesday around 9.40 p.m. when a woman with a purse walked up to her and blasted her in the head. 
before nonchalantly walking back to her car. Mm. Delilah Khadija said she was looking for a parking spot when she saw the ambulance, not realizing her big sister was the victim they were whisking away. Oh, my goodness. She said she ran down the street trying to get to her, but by the time she got to her, they took her. She said, that's heartless. And it is. It's very hard. Like, if you watch the video, y'all will see how this woman literally walked away like she did nothing wrong. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. This mom, she is distraught. As she should be. The mom went on to say, I just want to know why. What could she have done? to you that you couldn't come and knock on my door and tell me i would have straightened out for both of you this is what the mother stated mm. oh wow what is the picture of? Mm. she was a family friend the mother described how Johnson was her firstborn, and she excelled in piano and tap dancing. And she said she's going to miss her very much, and I know she will. That's her child. That is crazy. But, yes, I'm definitely going to stay up to that. I just want to come back and put that in there, too, that this was a family friend. This woman knew Delia. Not only did she knew her, she was she used to live with this 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 woman. So, y'all, this is just crazy. Again, prayers going up for the Johnson family. Mm. 